Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, Father John Wilson here. It's uh, Monday, April 27th. Um, it's hard to believe we've been at this for, gee, about a month and a half already. Um, so we, we continue to pray for a uh, for those who are sick, for those who have died, and, and for a, a speedy end to um, to this plague. Um, wanted to uh, try something a little bit different in um, with these videos in the, the coming days. I actually wanted to ask for your for your help with a, a research project I've been working on. I've been um, studying the life of um, one of the, the real heroes of um, the history of um, the Catholic Church in in the United States. Um, she's very little known, but I, I I'm hoping that changes. Um, so her name is um, Mother Mary Teresa Tallon. Um, she's, uh, she's actually been honored with uh, the title Servant of God. And what that means is that the, the church is actively investigating um, whether she should be uh, declared a saint. You know, obviously this is a, a process that takes a long time most of the time, but that's okay. Uh, but she, um, she grew up and uh, did most of her life's work, uh, you know, right here in New York. She she died in, uh, she was born in um, 1867, died just in uh, 1954. And uh, she is the, the foundress of uh, an order of religious sisters called the uh, the, the Parish Visitors of uh, Mary Immaculate. This is, um, this is her right here. Um, hold on, oh, sorry. Sorry for the, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll try to get a better image to maybe put in the video on YouTube. Uh, but um, I got to know the, the parish visitors um, just uh, last year. Um, and this is, you know, when I first encountered uh, Mother Mary Teresa and, and her writings. Uh, and, you know, her sisters are really, uh, what's great about them is that they're missionaries in, in the simplest sense of the word. Um, and actually in, in areas where, where this is possible and at the, the invitation of the, um, the local parish priest, they'll actually go around knocking on doors, um, inviting, inviting Catholics back to the sacraments, especially if they've been away for a while, um, offering to pray with people, asking them if they, uh, if, if they, they can have the, the priest reach out to them, um, you know, just a really simple outreach, inviting people back to Jesus. Um, and now, of course, one reaction people might have in, in hearing this is, is thinking, well, gee, that uh, that kind of makes me uncomfortable. Isn't, isn't that what, like, the Mormons and the Jehovah's Witnesses do? That sounds almost kind of, almost kind of pushy. Um, and what I, what I would say to that is that that, that really depends. Um, it really depends on a, a number of things. First of all, um, Mother Mary Teresa's mission, uh, we should realize it, it started in like the tenements of New York City in the 1920s, um, where having someone stop by would have not been nearly a, a, as strange as in some of our like modern suburban you know, home fortresses or something like that, you know. And, uh, of course, you know, these days, who of us, you know, wouldn't appreciate a, a visit really of, of any kind? Um, and, you know, I think the, the other thing we need to realize is that, you know, people are a lot less bothered than you might think to meet someone who genuinely desires their good and actually has good news to share. So, you know, the most important in, question in that encounter is really, you know, okay, what, what is actually in the missionary's heart? Um, you know, maybe some of us had, have had a bad experience of, you know, maybe someone trying to sell us something or someone trying to convince us that they're right just to make themselves feel good. And of course, that you know, that's a, a temptation for a, a missionary of Jesus Christ as well. Uh, but this is actually where, where Mother Mary Teresa was, was so, so good. Um, because she, she insisted that 
her sisters be contemplative. Uh, you know, they, they would spend hours with Jesus, you know, in, the, uh, in his presence in the Blessed Sacrament every day. And just really soaking up his love for the people that they would visit. Um, and that's why they were able to display his gentleness, um, his, you know, his willingness to ask a meaningful question. Um, and um, this, is, uh, this is why I think that uh, Mother Mary Teresa is uh, really a model for our time as well. Uh, you know, we're being called to, to go out to make, to make our Lord Jesus Christ known once again. Uh, but for all of us, right, that needs to be from a place of deep knowledge of and rest in him. Uh, that's the only way that, uh, you know, people are going to encounter him if we, if we know him first. Um, and I think that Mother Mary Teresa Talon has a, has a lot to teach us there. And so, you know, over, you know, what I'm asking for your help um, for is really just, uh, you know, keep tuning in if you can. And I think having, I'm going to start talking about her life, some of her writings, and uh, this will give me some accountability just in uh, continuing to read. And, um, you know, also if, you know, perhaps if you can start, start asking for her intercession, asking for her prayers. Um, you know, this is, this is how, this is how it works um, when, you know, the church is uh, discerning whether it's the will of God that, that someone be raised to the altar. You know, is, you know, is God um, desiring that uh, people seek his or her intercession? So, so yeah, um, get to know her. Uh, I'll be uh, sharing uh, hopefully a lot more good stuff uh, about her life and about, you know, her witness uh, in the coming days. God bless you guys.